Good morning, modern steaders. We're gonna go for a road trip this morning and pick up our bees that we ordered on the internet. We gotta do all of our animal chores first, though. We're gonna be bringing home like 20,000 bees in our pickup truck today. <laughs> That'll be a fun ride. Three. Oh, I missed the pile. Good morning, Figaro. You keeping an eye on them chickens? Did the bear come in last night? Well, I'm not seeing any beer dung on the road. We got one game camera up in that tree, and then we have another one over here in this little hemlock. So I'll have to pull those memory cards in a little while and check to see if the bear came back. If you guys didn't see that, I'll put a link to yesterday's video right here. We had a bear come in, and then when I was out getting the game camera, we had a bear track bigger than my hand. It was longer than this. It was probably from like here to here, down below by the creek. So I'm hoping we got some video footage of him because that's gonna be one big bear. Jeez, I didn't know you were gonna be right yeah, there. Yeah. Mm. Here you go, Libby's. One of our viewers 3D printed this instead of having to use the chain on our milking stand. Girls want breakfast? I think that's grandpa. There you go. That came out really nice. Thank you. It that looks awesome. Good. Yeah, it looks awesome. You drinking the goat's water, huh? Come on, ladies. This is not the first time we've had beers on the homestead. We have beers on the homestead. Beers, beer, however you want to say it. It's my accent, I know. We have them on the homestead every year almost all the time. I just don't like seeing them that close to the barn and our animals. Uh, we have a lot of wild apple trees here, so the bears have always been around. Good morning, girls. There you go. I've never seen them, but I'm always seeing bear poop in the fall. I just haven't seen any bear poop this early in the year. So I'm hoping the game camera is going to show us what we have for a bear. Can you give me a full jar? Huh? 
the dollar. Good job. That sun's out pretty good right now. Before we leave, we better vent the greenhouse so we don't cook our tomato plants. That's good for today. It's not supposed to be very hot, but that sun's coming out and it's gonna warm up the greenhouse pretty good. I want to bring a bee veil and a pair of gloves just in case we need them at the bee yard. You never know. I'd rather have them and not need them and then need them and not have them. All right, we got a few hour road trip to go get the bees. Olivia decided she didn't want to go, which I can't say I blame her. And in case she had to go to the bathroom, we don't know if there's any stops. Yes, most rest areas are closed down right now. so. You guys ready for a road trip? We're looking forward to getting the bees. Can you see the rainbow? It's so wide. I've never seen a rainbow that wide. It's so wide. Can you see it over the, go to the left of the mountain? Or it like heads in the mountain? Oh yeah, I, I can see. I don't know if it'll come across. In 500 feet, the destination is on your left. Strapped in, ready to go. Just like that, we're back. It's been a little while. Did you think the bees made the trek back? I hope so. How do you know if they're okay? Can you hear them buzzing? No, we'll turn around. There's a screen over the Oh, front. there is a screen? Yeah. Um, let's see if they're moving. Oh yeah, they are. There they are. Can I see on the camera? Can we? Not really. Okay. It's Rusty welcoming you ladies. Gonna stick each box under a hive for today. I hope you didn't step on my blueberries. Nope. I made sure of that.
All right. We're gonna keep them under the hive, but I'm gonna open up the screen about halfway. I'll let the bees out, and then later on tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come back. It'll all be in this video, and we're gonna put the hives in these hives. But I want to just let them sit here and get acclimated, get their GPSs re-censored to this area. They know this box is home, so they'll come to this easy enough. Nice. Ooh. They're probably mad because they're... Right here. Oh. Alright. One came out so far. Not very nice though right now. The camera is shaky, it's because Gene is cold. <laughs> or are you scared? I'm cold. Oh, they're climbing out. Oh, yeah. There they come. Oh, I saw that one go out. Let me try to get closer up. Here comes some more. Are you ready? Yeah. There they are. Little lackadaisic because it's a little chilly out right now. It's only 50s. Let this hive see a little bit more moving than the last one. Oop, there they go. We've got plenty of clover right here for him. See, there's not much action happening over here. A little bit. A little bit more action on this one. I think it's just because it's cold. If the sun comes out later today, they'll do good. We end up getting the Saskatchewan bees because they are super chill. Look at these guys. Oh, he fell on his back. Just here we go. Yeah, one right there. And they're pretty chill. But I put you right in the clover patch, so you got your food right here. There you go. There's your food. Get the nectar. The nice thing about these hives when we're working and we're going to be working on the back side. So when the bees are coming out the front, we'll be back here and won't be disturbing them. Oh, that's cool. I'm not picking up. Oh, yeah, there's a bees. whole bunch of them. Yep, they're in it. You just got to be careful. Not squish them. Yeah, see, they're just... Yep. Oh, yeah, they're you going to the moon or are you going to go put some bees in the beehive? Looks like you got your astronaut I'll suit myself. on. Walk myself. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely seem nice and active. That is a good thing. Your tape didn't really work. Nope. But I didn't want to move them earlier. It was too cold. They look feisty. I don't want to smoke them either. I'm just going to move them without. So hopefully we don't piss them off too much. Ow. All right. You ready? We're going in. The best part is that's the hive that we thought was the least active. Yeah, I know. They're flying all over the place right here. They are quite active today. All right. Listen to him. I know, I can hear it. Oh, I really am nervous. You're nervous? Yeah. Wow. don't see the queen yet. Well, how will you know? She's bigger. She's usually a lot larger. Longer. Oh, really? Listen to them. Oh man, they got that full of honey. No way. It's nice and, nice and heavy. 
Are you scared? Am I scared? Nah. It only hurts for a minute. Yeah, well, there's a lot of them. It will hurt worse. Oh, they're really swarming. This right here, I think, is the queen. Let me see. Where? Over here. See that larger one? No, that's not the queen. No, I don't see anything larger. They all look like a bunch of bees. You'll see the queen. She's a, that's going to be the worker bees. She's, she, they're a lot longer. They're full of honey. I haven't seen the queen yet. They're all over your hands. Be careful. What happens if we don't have a queen? No, that she's in there. We just haven't. If we don't see her, we don't see her. Does she have a color on her? You know what she used? She used bobby pins. Oh, I got some of those. Starting to build out the honeycomb on that one. Where? What am I looking at? The, so like this side. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's flat. This side, they're starting to build out the wax. Oh yeah. You gonna do the next hive? Oh no, I'm not touching that. You're not touching that? I'm kind of scared just standing here. Oh, you want me to? How are you gonna get those bees in there? How does this suit even protect you? It's not, it's just fabric. It's just thick. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> just let it go and they'll go in. They will. Why don't you set it in the back there? Ah. Open up the hive entrance right there. And these bees can fly in there. We'll shut this one up. I'm going to come back out in a little bit with some of our old honey frames. Careful, there's one right there. That have honey in them. And I'm going to give them honey to eat instead of sugar water. Bang. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. It was so professional down there. Oh, look at those ones. They seem so big. <laughs> so that's a comb. That's all built out. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's not the same. Well, sometimes they get hit. Hold on. Don't let go. This one, the, the mama. Look at that big one right going. It's crawling down. It's crawling down. Yes. See that? It's crawling up now. 
That no, one's a lot bigger. That one's bigger, but it's, that's not the queen. Okay, I got this one. Make this lots of honey. Don't sting me. Look at all them bees. Oh, they're eating the dead one? They carry them out. Oh. Shoot. Still quite a few in there, so I'm gonna put it in the front. And then I'm gonna slide open our entrance. There go. And look at that one. She's jamming. Oh yeah, That's they're fun. all like climbing in and out of there. Up. Then I'll be back with some honey for them. Is this what you call B roll? <laughs> giving them sugar water. We're gonna give them some honey and some old honeycombs from our old hives. Do you they even need sugar sugar water this time of year? Well because they're a brand new hive and they're starting out they, they could use food. So instead of giving them sugar water we'll give them this. And they can eat this if they need food. out little bees. Watch out. Don't want to squish you. Yeah, that one's super active. Which is funny because I thought that was at least active yesterday. Right. Oh, one's coming out. Oh, this hive's starting to come out now from their entrance. This hive is super active already. The bees are out and active, but they're very calm. I'm not having any guard bees around me trying to sting me. A lot of the times with our other hives, when you got into them, after a few minutes, you'd have these bees swarming you and you could hear them like coming after you, trying to attack you. These bees are just flying around, getting to, new, getting to know their new home, but they're not, they're not aggressive, which is nice. Stay that way. Right? This is why we got this variety of bees, the Saskatchewan. It's supposed to be really good in cold weather, which that's our climate. They're supposed to be calm, friendly, and they're supposed to be really good honey producers. So we're going to find out by the end of the season. And I know nothing about it. This you is will. my first time. You will. I just stayed far, far away before. And now you are right up in there today. Right up in there. They built up wax and a little bit of honey right there on the side, so now these bees are trying to get it to bring it back into the new hive. Oh, really? Yep. And down there, they must have dropped some honey. And they're trying to get it all to bring it back. Listen to them. They're like in the landing boards. Mm -hmm. It's 
place getting the hood off. It's hard looking through a screen. Yeah, my eyeballs get tired looking through that yeah, screen mesh. Right now. It's I, hard to see. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if That's you funny used that you just it. said that. But yeah, it's like looking through a screen door. Not very easy. I'm going to make a salad that my meme used to cook a lot when we used to go visit. It's just um, lettuce and a little bit of green onion. And then she did mayonnaise and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of milk and just mix it up. And that, we always had that. It was always really good. Um, so I'm going to make my homemade mayonnaise first. And I want that to get cold in the fridge. So I'm just going to do that now. So one egg and then two tablespoons of lemon juice or juice of a lemon. I just like to keep a hand, handy jar of lemon juice in the fridge. So two tablespoons of that. One half teaspoon of salt. And then one cup of avocado oil. You just want to let that kind of settle. Your trick is your immersion blender and then keep your immersion blender top right over the egg yolk and do not lift up. And I usually count to 15 or 20 seconds, one Mississippi, two Mississippi until um, that and then I start lifting it up. Just set it around top. The only thing with homemade mayonnaise, because um, I'm not putting anything extra in it, it's only good for seven days. So I just make sure I label it and do not use it past that day. So I got my greens from the garden and then I have the green onions. I'm just going to cut them small into the bowl. And my meme never really measured so I talked to my mom and she said a little bit of this a little bit of that so I'll try and see if I can get it to taste like hers I want to do a little over a quarter not a half of mayonnaise and see if I can get enough a splash of syrup I ran out of my other stash so, too much. In a splash of milk. Just a little shake and see if I need to add any more milk to that. Alright, it looks nice and creamy. I'm just gonna dump some on. I'm just gonna let it sit and chill in the fridge. Give it a good shake before we go to or stir before we go to eat it. And hopefully it tastes just like I remember from when I was around probably Olivia's age. We're gonna have sweet potato tonight, but I was thinking I had so much time because I was making steak in the grill. Forgot that the sweet potatoes need to go on a little bit sooner. So we're gonna have zucchini instead, and I'm sure Olivia is gonna be so sad because. Well, that's her favorite. Hopefully she doesn't get sick of zucchini before we start getting our own. So I'm just adding some onion powder, and some garlic powder to both sides of our steak. This steak came from Farm Foods and we do have our promo listed below in our affiliate links if you are interested. Gina said that the salad does taste like her grandmother, so that's a good thing. My guess is we'll be eating it quite a bit this summer. I did take the game camera 
SD cards out and I checked them and the only thing I saw lurking around the homestead at night was Figaro. <laughs> oh, you never know where you're going to find that guy. We are excited to have our bees on the homestead. They're going to be busy as bees all the time now. I can't wait to see how big they grow the hives and how much honey we're going to get. But not just that, I can't wait to see how well they do pollinating our garden this year. That is going to be amazing just to kind of keep an eye on all the flowers that are in the greenhouse and to see our honeybees on them and to keep an eye on the clover patches and just see how it helps them and us for food production. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us and our homestead. I'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.